The camera normally is located as a shortcut in the bottom right corner. If you don't see it there, you can swipe up and you'll find the camera right there in your app drawer. Let me first explain just the different options you'll see on the screen, and then we'll take a few pictures so you can see what it looks like. By default, it normally will start on photos, and this button in the center will be a little white button, and that is how you snap a picture. And if you want to take a video, you can tap on video, and this button will have a little red dot in the center. That's how you'll know you're on video. You're gonna tap that button to start recording your video, and then you'll tap this button here if you wanna snap a picture while you're recording a video. You can pause the video, keep it going. You can use this button to flip the camera. So guess what, now we'll start recording from the front camera instead of the rear camera. And when you're all done, hit this button to stop the recording. And we can swipe back over to photos. You also have what is called portrait. Now, whenever you take a portrait picture, it's gonna focus in on one main item and it's gonna blur out the background of the picture. This is a really fun setting to use when you're taking a picture of, of a single person because it will focus in on that person and blur out the background and give it a really nice effect. And a few other things to note. So this is how you will switch between your wide angle lens and just the regular lens. So the wide angle will let you have more in the shot, just like that. Let's flip the camera here. Let's say I wanna take a picture of this leaf that's in the corner here. I'm just gonna tap on this white button here, the shutter to take the picture. And guess what, the shutter is really fast. You can take a bunch at one time. If I switch over to portrait, I can have it focus in. And this is sort of a tricky exercise because I have to focus in my camera in order for it to catch what's on the screen. But portrait will again, it'll focus in on that main subject, which is the leaf. And it'll blur out the background. So. That's a quick rundown of the uh, camera, just how to take pictures. Now, after you take the pictures, if you wanna look at the pictures you've just taken, you're gonna tap on this button to the left. This will take you to all the pictures you've just taken, and you can scroll through and look at all the different pictures and just keep going, let's keep going. We were taking some family pictures earlier. And if you wanna zoom in on a picture, you can just pinch, put your finger on the screen and then just pinch open like this. And that will allow you to zoom in. You can see that beautiful quality that it captured on this leaf here. Now, another important thing to note, let's hit our home button. If you wanna look at those pictures later, you would not go back to the camera to look at those pictures. You'd have to go to your gallery. So swipe up. Swipe to your left and look for the gallery. This is your gallery icon. This is how you look at all the pictures you've taken on the phone and you can scroll through and see every picture you've taken. And this is also where you would uh, uh, wanna share a picture. Maybe you say, I really like this picture here. I wanna share it. I wanna send it as a text or an email. You're gonna tap on this button here, which is your share button. This will allow you to share it out. You'll just scroll through here and you'll select if you wanna send it as a text message, a Gmail, you could post it on Instagram or even Facebook or send it as a WhatsApp message just by tapping on that icon so it's ready to send. So that's a brief rundown of how to take videos, how to take pictures, and then where to find them after you've taken them later. You guys should consider picking up one of these really cool chargers. This is a charger that is portable. It'll pop right in the bottom of the phone. And these come in handy if you ever wake up and you've forgotten to charge your phone and you need to go out somewhere. You can simply plug this right into the charging port and this will help to charge up your phone while you're on the go. I keep one with me as a backup because sometimes you'll do different functions with your phone 
and the battery will just drain pretty quickly. So these little portable chargers are very helpful and um, they'll make sure your battery always has some life when you're on the go. You'll see a pop-up right here of where you can get one. And um, to find more helpful information on the Samsung Galaxy S24, check out that video on the left. And on the right, you'll find another really helpful video as well.